Hey everyone, so I got my husband to film himself making these um, homemade fruit snacks that I've been playing around with the recipe with with him for a while now. Um, and I think I brought it down to kind of what I like, what my taste preference is, but I thought I'd put in a little bit of an intro before him showing um, you guys himself making it, just to explain a little bit more. There's only three ingredients in these, which is kind of nice. They look like this. We cut them into squares. Um, they're just hard little fruit snacks, look like that. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys some more information. The sweetener we used was stevia, however you could use any kind of sweetener that you like, um, even sugar if you wanted to use sugar. There's lots of different sweeteners out there so you could totally play around with that. You could also mix up the fruit juices. We used like a smoothie one for these ones and I really like the taste that, that came out in these and you'll see that in a second, but you could use any kind of juice that you really wanted to. I think I might actually try a citrus um, fruit snack like with lemon juice or lime juice I haven't tried that yet but I just feel like that would be really good to have a tangy like sour type fruit snack but so far I really like the recipe and I've had a lot of people wanting to know how we make them super easy so I thought I would get this video up really quick okay so we're making Allison's gummy snacks with gelatin today I'm making a double batch so I'm using 12 packets of gelatin um, you can get these in bigger quantities, but six is for one batch. We're doing a double batch. So full 12 packets, two cups of any 100% fruit juice, something not from concentrate preferable, uh, and something that doesn't have sugar added. And then a quarter teaspoon of stevia. And you're gonna put that into a saucepan and you're just going to warm it. When you stir this, it is going to be really, really thick. Um, thicker than you would if you were doing like a jello or pudding. It's, it's going to be really thick. And then you're going to bring it uh, up to a, a medium heat. I've just got my element on about a th between a three and a four. It's at a four right now. We're not going to boil this. If you boil it, the gelatin is going to lose some of its ability to thicken. So we're just going to warm it until it goes liquidy. Uh, the same consistency as you would if it was the juice itself and as it cools in the fridge it'll go hard again. Okay so we've got all our ingredients in a saucepan and we've got it on medium heat right now and we're just going to warm this up so that the gelatin allows this to turn back into a liquid. As soon as you put everything in the pot and you stir it up uh, before you add any heat it's going to go really really thick. So we add some heat to it, get it uh, back into a liquid state. Uh, it's just about there now um, just about the same consistency as the juice came out of the container in the first place. And then we'll put this in a 9 by 13. Again, this is a double batch. A 9 by 13. Uh, if you're using a metal pan, you're going to want to either put some parchment paper or you're going to want to use some uh, cooking spray. And then into the fridge or freezer uh, for um, about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes in the fridge or about uh, 10 or so minutes if it's going into the freezer. Alright, so we've got it all into our 9 by 13 so this is going to go into the fridge now for about about a half hour or so. So that's about it, pretty easy like I said, pretty much um, once they came out of the fridge we just cubed them up into the squares and we keep them in uh, this container in the fridge, although they do fine out of the fridge as well, I just like them kind of cold. So. That's pretty much it. I also want to mention that we were using the Knox brand gelatin, which you can find at any grocery store, but because I want to be making these kind of on a regular basis, I did find there's a number of distributors through Amazon that sell big quantities of um, gelatin at lower prices, so definitely check that out if you're wanting to make a lot of fruit snacks. But I think that's about it. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!